I ran a marathon when no one thought I could I didn't always want to but I said that I would and I learned a lot Hey everybody, it is Thursday and you're watching The Bad Gay. My greatest achievement is that I have not given up. And uh, that is not to say that the problems and challenges that I've faced in my life are so terrible and traumatic uh, compared to the suffering and the indignity that other people face elsewhere. Clearly, many people have it a great deal worse than I do and ever will. But each of us has our journey in life and each of us are given uh, struggles and challenges that we have to overcome. And we're all equally and differently equipped for these challenges. And no matter how prepared you think you might be, we each have our strengths and weaknesses and, and gifts and successes and failures. And I have personally struggled with uh, the failures in my life and really the negativity that constantly surrounds me, or I feel surrounds me. Um, I'm a teacher that I feel like I could always do better than what I'm doing. Anytime that I'm just rushed and trying to get something done and I don't fully give attention to um, a student that needs it. Anytime that I have been impatient or short or not as thorough as I could have been. I mean, I, I constantly am examining what I do and all I see are the um, failures and the places where I could have done better, but for whatever reason, and the reasons are never good, I didn't do it. And I get frustrated. And uh, I know that no one is perfect. And I know that the odds often seem overwhelming, but I can't help but uh, regret any time that I feel like I could have done something better than what I did before. And um, I only can rectify that by trying to do better next time. So every day is a fresh start that I hope to take advantage of. And I need to learn to do better enjoying the um, little victories and not let um, defeats or slights uh, overshadow the successes that I do have. I often feel that I am by myself. When in fact, I do have friends and family who, who care for me, and if I reach out, I know that they will be there for me, but one of my challenges is it's difficult for me to ask for help. Because I grew up being so used to being independent and on my own because I was in the closet, and because I didn't want anyone to uh, to to know that I was gay because I was embarrassed and humiliated and uh, bought into all the negative things I heard about what gay people were that I had to unlearn. So I guess the takeaway from this is that if I have the capacity to uh, overcome the things that I face, then so do you. The world is changing, maybe not as quickly as we would like it to, and things are indeed getting better. And for as loud as the people who are uh, declaimers and the liars and the naysayers, as loud as they scream and preach their evil and their vile and their bile and their filth out there, the truth will win out. And the louder they get, the more consistently and calmly and lovingly you have to speak the truth. And truth is not a loud creature, but truth is a pervasive, powerful, subtle, growing, beautiful liberator of darkness from your life and from the world. And as long as I feel you are moving towards the direction of truth, you're headed in the right direction. And once you are comfortable with your own personal truth, I think everything else that you are looking for in your life will fall into place. Cause every dream that I'm trying to achieve I can, I can, I can 